Hi, I'm Paul from Signature Needle Arts. And a lot of people ask us what makes our needles so special. So today I want to talk to you about some of the precision and workmanship that goes into our needles. Like any high quality product, we begin with very high quality ingredients. So we purchase only American made aluminum. The first step in the process is to have bars precision ground to plus or minus one ten thousandth of an inch. To give you an idea of how small our tolerance is, that's the equivalent of cutting a human hair into 20 pieces. So we begin with a very tight tolerance bar that's very round and true. And the first operation begins in our Swiss machines. Our Swiss machine is used for high volume parts and precision parts like gears and rings that were initially used in watches. However, Swiss machines also have a distinct advantage in that they allow for long and skinny parts to be manufactured. So a part like our 14 inch straight needle is easily manufactured out of Swiss, whereas other standard blades would not be uh, fit for this type of part. So the previous operation we showed you is where our needles begin. Uh, like we mentioned, they start out on the Swiss machine where they're blanked out, and we begin some of the processes there. The next step is done outside of our facility where we anodize the needles to give them our colors. This is the size six in green, of course, which you might recognize. The final operation and what puts Signature on the map is our ability to create a better point than any other needle on the market. Uh, this is performed in a high speed lathe called a Wasino and we use diamond turning tool technology to create a very high quality finish on the point. The final operation is to hand polish each point for the smoothest finish and the most reflective points possible. To do this we use several grades of polishing rouge and a final clean wheel, which brings out the luster of the needle. The last operation we saw was putting our points on our needles with the hand polishing operation. To truly understand what makes our points so special, you have to see the competitor's needles as well. We don't like to badmouth our competition, but we'd like to show you on an optical comparator what our needles look like at 10 times magnification. If you look closely at the competitor's needle under 10 times magnification, you can see a small flat spot under the point of the needle. This is because most metal needles are made from hollow tubing, which if you can imagine trying to form a point from tubing, you'll never be able to make a true point, even despite your efforts to form it perfectly. So as I rotate the needle, you can see that the point is spinning as well. Um, that could be called run out or concentricity, and it has to do with the straightness of the needle, but also how true the features are to one another. As I turn it around, you can see some irregularities in the point of the needle, and that's going to amplify itself when you're knitting with fine yarns. When I put a signature needle of the same size onto our optical comparator, you can see that it's truly a perfect nose radius, along with a tapered shank to move up to the full diameter of your needle. Now as I rotate the signature needle, you can see that the runout is almost next to nothing. The needle's straight, the needle's true, and the point is concentric to the shaft itself.